channel and welcome to a new vlog here in Malta. Uh, so finally, after so many days, I mean, after a week or so, something like that, we got to see sun over here. We got to see sunlight. It was uh, uh, totally windy and uh, most, of, most of the time it was cloudy throughout the day. Yesterday also it was raining. And I was having off, I couldn't go out. And today when I had work, I <laughs> as soon as I uh, reached at work, 7 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I came out around 9 or 9.30, just for some break, I saw a very, very, very beautiful sunlight. I mean, I saw a good sunny day. I found a good sunny day as soon as I came out. So, I don't know. <laughs> Whenever it's, it's been happening since long, Whenever I, I have uh, off day, I mean, most of the time it's just cloudy, windy, rainy. But uh, usually when I have off and uh, uh, it happens all the time. And when I don't have off, I have work, it gets sunny. Only one day I got a um, chance to go out. Uh, that time I went to Masaskara. You must have seen that video. If you haven't checked out, go check out. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to go to St. Julian's. I have some work over there in uh, uh, Marsascala. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. So I have some work over there at uh, St. George Bay, Corinthia by St. George Bay. I don't know. I'm, 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 I am pronouncing that. Uh, I, I'm saying correct name or not, but that is Corinthia by St. George Bay. So I need to give something there. And then as soon as I finish, I'll show you around St. Julian's, the beautiful St. Julian's area. Just enjoy the ride to St. Julian's and as well as uh, keep watching, don't skip this video. So Gozo, it's 23 kilometers from here, not Gozo exactly, the the, the Chirkeva ferry, it's 23 kilometers from here. So guys, I was planning to go on this Sunday. Yesterday, I saw the forecast. Tomorrow, it's uh, windy. And I don't know if it is cloudy or not. A bit cloudy. I don't know. I mean, weather cannot be predicted. So, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll see how is the weather tomorrow. So, tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then day after tomorrow, I would love to go to Gozo. I am having four days of off right now. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So four days I'm having off. So let's see how it's gonna be the weather and everything. Um, if it it all went well, then I would love to go Gozo and uh, explore beautiful places over there. I have been once only since I'm in Malta, and I haven't been there. So definitely plenty of places to explore there in Gozo. So I'm reaching to St. Julian's. This is the highway which I am going through. And uh, if I go through the other part, other side, like uh, through Slima, Jira, all that area, if I take that road, then it takes so much time because of the traffic, because of the signals. It, and it, that is a like coastal road. So that's very busy all the time. So now we have reached so St. Julian, St. Julian, St. Julian. And then we need to go to the Bay Area now. Look at these beautiful big, big buildings recently have been constructed. The big one over there. There is a mall as well. I haven't gone to. Uh, especially, I mean, basically, uh, if I say, if I tell you the truth, I have been only once um, here during the night, uh, exploring the nightlife, but I haven't been for... Uh, for uh, multiple times over here so I, I i didn't like much the crowd the traffic and everything that's why i haven't been here much during the night time and uh day time yes three four times but uh not during the night but uh it's a beautiful year lots of tourists lots of people you will get to see in weekends and during the day for the beaches in in summers this road is packed with the cars with public with crowd everything at the moment look at this love it's totally dull but when you come 
in nah summers it's totally different picture hugo's hotel we have plenty of big big properties big big hotels we have over here and uh, yeah this is the bay area beautiful small beach over here right over here and we need to go that side How beautiful, right? This is Corinthia Beach and Resort. We need to go Corinthia by Saint George Bay, I think. Yes, Marina Hotel and Resort. Which one is this one? This is Corinthia Hotel. I don't know where it's Corinthia Saint George Bay. Yeah, it's over here. Says this site. The boat says this site. Saint George Bay. I don't know where is Corinthia Saint George Bay. Excuse me. Excuse me. This one is Corinthia Saint George Bay. This one is Corinthia Saint George Bay. Okay, you are local here, right? Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Here I am. I don't know. I need to go to security side, but I don't know where it is. Let me ask the security first. You don't see anybody over here. Usually in India, what exactly? Bro, bro, bro. One second. Where is the security side? How do I go? Here. Go down here. Okay. You see a door. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I can go by walk, right? Thank you so much. Thank you. So this guy helped me out. So usually, what happens in India when you have uh, Hotels like five star hotels, always there is a security here. Only one gate and one camera. That's it. So I have just handed over the spot for uh, security, and now let's take you around to this beautiful place. Let's take you a little bit more down on the way to Radisson Blue Hotel. That day I was here for uh, for uh, team dinner uh, from my office from my company. And uh, this is a coastal area again. And right now we have entered in uh, reticent blue. So, yeah. Just to show you, I'm just taking a round of this area. Okay, so let's go back to the main area of Centurions. Usually in summers, let me tell you, if you haven't seen my old videos, you, you can check out, you can go up. But that is not in English, that is in my regional language, which is Hindi. So, um, I, this place is totally packed with the crowd, playing volleyball, enjoying their time at the beach, lots of crowd walking around, all the restaurants and um, bistros are busy, full, full of crowd, music is going on, I mean... Uh, it's a, a very famous place in Malta and that's why all everybody uh, I mean uh, would uh, come over here and enjoy their time and again there are plenty of uh, plenty of uh, hotels as well so that's why lots of tourists um, always come down from the hotel enjoy their time in the sunlight so yeah so this is the place, this is how it is. Let me just park a bit and give you a proper view of this area a bit. And then we'll go back to up more and see a few more things. Let me find some parking spot, which is very difficult to find over here. Thankfully. So this is the view from here the beach, the beach is dirty and uh, you will get to see some uh, people chilling out enjoying their time yeah kind of good over here so so
so the place in front of us that is also open um, during the summer and it it is very 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 busy lots of sun beds lots of uh, tables and chairs you can get to see so let's move a bit more up from here and enjoy a few more things that's it over here i think they were crowd just to give you a, a view of the area i stopped so we'll move a bit more further so i was talking about to taking left from this place from here welcome to at the red gig beach gig beach so let's see which uh, this road where it goes i haven't been to this road i was so that's why i wanted to check out once so explore malta with me guys explore malta explore uh, places beautiful places okay this is right behind of uh, of of, of st julian's area like nightlife area yeah so i know this place but uh, exactly haven't been on this particular road ever so let's go to left and let's check out what it is how it is okay this is another spot from here there is a casino as well i don't know where i think this one only i don't know there is a casino here we have some beautiful view wow what nice area man beautiful area just have a look how nice huh let's go that side so that's the casino over there what i was talking about that is the casino what we see from slima and other part from other part other part of the malta so this is the area and this is how it looks uh, first time i'm over here let's just go to other side of this place beautiful place man to chill out i wanted to go that area at the last so yeah how scary the water is sometimes that is hilton over here right in front of us so beautiful but at the same time it's really scary as well look at the water in the white and blue water it gets white when it comes to the shore how beautiful is it and this is the whole area over here it is look at the wave and these things if you are enjoying this video guys hit the subscribe button i'll go that side once i've left my helmet over there let me grab it quickly so this is how this area is and look at the beautiful uh, buildings of slema from here how easily visible okay so this is the part from where you take a uh, up the ground coastal road and you come to st julian but i came through highway so yeah what a big the roman how crazy it is Oh, dear, oh, they. So the sea is getting more and more aggressive all the time. Sometimes big waves all of a sudden, and they take most of the part of this uh, small beach. So yeah, let's hop onto the road once again. I've just recorded some few crazy waves over here, man. Just because of the uh, structure of this beach, like rocky or an even structure. the waves are getting neutralized otherwise if it was uh, like uh, if it was uh, like flat beach the situation would have been really different the waves could have been till that end so yeah waves are very 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 aggressive and uh, i mean let me just catch one of them if i can 
because uh, I cannot stay for longer period at the moment. So yeah, they come really uh, high and they get neutralized over here. One of them is coming. Yeah, this one. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So that's it, I think. Yes. I sat for some time, tried to record a time lapse, but again, there was no battery. Little bit batteries left. I wouldn't have completed this vlog otherwise. So that's why I stopped that time lapse and I'm going to go head back to home. So right in front of us, the famous, <coughs> I'm sorry, the famous uh, street where everybody wants to go for the nightlife. And uh, let's see this road where it takes us. I think this will go to the square where uh, we get the buses from. The bus stop, the main St. Julian's bus stops. And so, yeah, St. Julian's or St. Julian, something like that, yes. Yeah, this road goes over there. And uh, okay, let's take a roundabout. How beautiful this building is! Wow, I've been to this place. This is Marina, something like that. I've been to this place. Absolutely, this is not this is not going to be fresh video, but again, this will be very very near to this state, like. Yeah, we'll see when I'm able to post this video. So now I'm going to catch the highway right uh, next to this area. Wow. Really? So much traffic, man, all the time over here. And this is a time when everybody leaves their office. So yeah, this is the most busiest time of the of the day. I think it's around 4.30 p.m. Expensive cars. Supermarket. I have a little bit for tunk. What do you need over here? There you go. So I'll be reaching my home in a couple of minutes. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And if you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button, follow my Instagram page, Cocktail Psychology. There I post lots of lots of uh, beautiful reels. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and watch those beautiful reels of Malta and wherever I'm traveling of those places. So this is a skate park. I have raised to skate park.